Fourth edition of the Arthur J. Cutler Memorial, free for all trot, a field of 10, all lining up in behind the gate, and here they come. And they're off, and Magician gets the first call from the outside. Plezak floats out of there, as does Dr. Ron Arrayl. Victory Margin showing some speed from the inside, and Million Dollar Buy is up close, right in behind Victory Margin. Vans Gold Chip is sixth on the inside, followed by Fully Completely. Dream Vacation lining up toward the outside from eighth, racing in ninth is Sundown Score, and Gap Slightly is Frisky Fighter who trails the field, so Victory Margin leads it, and here comes Magician, who's taking his time, working his way up toward the front. He's He's now second and challenging the quarter in 27 and 3. Plezak finds himself third as Magician takes the lead. Million Dollar Buy rides the pylons fourth. Bands Gold Chip is fifth. Fully completely sixth. Dream Vacation would like to get some cover to follow. He's just sitting there on the outside. In behind him, racing in eighth, is Sundown Square. Dr. Ron Arrayl is trapped in ninth, and Frisky Fighter joins the outer flow from last, and Miller and Magician get a backside breather here. In the pocket is Victory Margin, who'll try to outsprint him late. He's content to follow right now at the half and 56 and two. Dream Vacation has been parked the entire mile, and the Catman will take a rush at Magician, and Dream Vacation trotting up quickly on the outside, so Magician tries to counter and quicken on the inside. With three eights to go, it's Magician. Magician in front, Dream Vacation right at his throat, applying the pressure on the outside, and second over is Sundown Score, poised in a perfect striking spot. Victory Margin is on the inside, Plezak is racing in fifth, three quarters in 125 flat, and they come to the top of the stretch, and it is Magician. Magician still under a hand drive, is two lengths in front. Off cover, Sundown Score trying to rally into it, Victory Margin waiting to shake free from the rail, but Magician has the jump on him, he's two lengths clear. Victory Margin with one last surge trying to outsprint him. Magician leads it. Victory Margin closing. Magician holds on to win it. Victory Margin with second. And Sundown score third in one, 52 and two fifths. Returning to the winner's circle, number nine, Magician. Six-year-old Bay Gelding by Royal Prestige. Out of incredible charm by incredible Neville. All by Bill Augenstein of Plainview, New York. The trainer is Earl Cruz. His regular driver, Dave Miller, is in the sulky. Magician, a double millionaire. Back-to-back -back wins for him. And the Cutler, he won last year in a time of 153-4, and four, and he scores tonight in 152 and two-fifths. Magician picking up his sixth victory in eight starts this season. He is the top older trotter in training. Magician winning back-to-back -back Cutler Memorials. Standing by in the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, Alice Cutler and Jeff Gorell, longtime partner of the late Arthur J. Cutler, who passed away at age 53 of a heart attack back in 1998. Cutler, a prominent standard bred owner and breeder, also the founder of many restaurants in the area and an avid supporter of racing here at the Meadowlands. So Dave Miller, trainer Earl Cruz, owner Bill Augenstein, and magician win the Arthur J. Cutler Memorial. And the results are official. Number nine, Magician, $3, 260, 220. Second, the two, Victory Margin, 380, 280. Third, number eight, Sundown Score, 440. Exacta, nine and two, pays 1180. Trifecta, 928, $89.80. The upcoming sixth race is the start of the pick four with a carryover pool this evening in excess of 24,000. So the expected total pool in excess of 100,000 in tonight's pick four here at the Big M. The sixth race starts it off with no changes. There's also exacta and trifecta. The pick four changes, race seven, scratch number five, life source, sick. Seventh race, number five is out. And in the 19 minutes at 9.15. Momentarily, we will head down to the winner's circle where Bob Hollywood. Well, he's been unbelievable. What about his schedule? It heats up a little bit now, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, I hope, hope we have a fresh horse going in. Dave Miller said a couple weeks ago that he might be a touch better than he's been in the past. What's your assessment? Well, he's maturing into a really unbelievable horse. And right now we'll see him, uh, we'll see him in the Breeders' Crown. What's his next uh, race coming up here at the Meadowlands? He's got the Titan Cup next week, eliminations. Hopefully there aren't any, and uh, give him a week off. Okay, Bill Orgenstein. Tell us the truth now. When you saw Moneymaker's retirement party last year, weren't you feeling kind of good that you know, maybe you'd have a little bit of an easier year coming up? Yeah, that did mean a lot. And it didn't work out quite that way. Please, I had something to say about that. He's tough. 
he, he, he could really make a run at you. Now, uh, Per Hendrickson said that the best two trotters in the world are Magician and Varen. When are they going to hook up? Uh, the rumor is he's coming here uh, Breeders' Crown. Now, you don't leave here. You like the area. But what about your traveling schedule? He does have a lot of races coming up. Well, he'll stay here until the Nat Ray, and then we're heading up to the Maple Leaf, and then up to uh, Canada, again, Montreal, and then out to Chicago. Can he just keep on going like this? 2.5 million is right around the corner. I hope so. Is this as good as he's been? Yeah. Okay, Bill Orgenstein, Earl Cruz, Dave Miller, the winners, two years in a row, the Cutler Memorial for 208000